y'all. I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It's greatly loved and appreciated. Okay, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, all beings of light, with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, thank you for um, protecting us through this reading, okay, and giving us the most accurate information ever. And you're welcome into this reading, okay? Please give the Pisces your collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so, hey y'all. I miss y'all so much, okay? Um, I am back though, okay? My family came into town, okay? Uh, some of them didn't even leave until like yesterday. No, till the day before yesterday, okay? So um, I've just been, you know, having some family time, okay? Out doing lots of things. I had fun though. I had, I had a ball, okay? Um, I went to the beach and I went, I went all over. I went, we went and ate and did all kinds of things. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great, okay? So, when I was in the bathroom, okay, this morning getting dressed, I heard, what's the point of advisors if you can't trust them, okay? And I was thinking about, like, First Spirit was having me think, <laughs> like, um, partnerships, you know? You could have new partners, new advisors. You could be um, wanting to bring people in, you know, to help you with ideas if you're, like, a business owner or something. And, you know, but you don't trust the people that you're trying to bring in. Don't bring in any advisors or any, you know, business partners that you can't trust your entire business with you know like if you can't leave the business with them and just leave then they have no business advising you on your business that you're trying to grow right now okay so spirits but then they were putting it to me like you know what's the point of your spiritual advisors of your spiritual team if you're not going to listen to them okay you have to um have trust in them you know what i mean like you know, I've been wanting to start back recording, you know, with people here and everything, you know, I was gonna, uh, you know, just record outside or just record in the car, you know, and spirit was like, just take, just take the fucking break. Okay. It's like, just take the break, you know, just listen to us, you know, you're going through things. And I had like some little tests, you know what I mean? That I had to pass, that I had to go through, you know, you could be spending some time with your family. Okay. Pay attention to the lessons and things that spirit is bringing to your attention, you know, really pay attention to your spiritual guidance and follow whatever it is that spirit is pushing you to do. Okay. Um, they're the best advisors that you could ask for for you know um some of you have advisors that you do trust you know what I mean but you don't trust your own gut you know what I mean and it's like you could be le leaning on the people who give you advice a little bit too much you know spirit saying it's okay to trust yourself and follow yourself you know which way you're supposed to be going okay <laughs> you know which way you're supposed to be going already and my little book that I write notes for you guys in on the front it says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future okay that is Jeremiah 29 11 okay from the Bible <laughs> okay so now that I got those little channeled messages out of the way. Oh, look, there's this one too, okay? Smile. I had this little extra paper because I was writing like a list and this paper came off. So I just grabbed the marker and wrote smile on it and wrote a little smiley face, okay? And I just keep it right here. When I look at it, it really does make me smile, okay? So you could need to put like some little notes around, you know what I mean? Something that you're going to see, something that will like keep your spirits up okay like um it's really important to manifesting or trying to manifest a more positive type of energy to like keep a positive mindset you know what i mean like so that's why like um having certain affirmations that you say or certain little notes laying around okay that's really like important okay to your journey so um, we got the Moonstone, okay? So, the key words for the Moonstone are mystery, self-discovery, intuition, insight, dreams, and the goddess, okay? Um, your goddess energy is definitely awake in you, okay? 
this is fire okay because i was just reading this this is good okay it says moonstone is the gem of the high priestess okay the keeper of feminine mysteries in its reflected light we can project and thereby observe the hidden truths that reside in the depths of ourselves out of the light of consciousness okay moonstone is a talisman for the inward journey and meditation which it can take one deep into self okay so if you have moonstone okay you could need to uh, meditate with it some of you guys um work with moonstone all the time that's what i was gonna say some of you guys work with moonstone a lot and that's really good for you okay that keeps your energy like it said the gym of the high priestess okay so <laughs> it really keeps like your feminine it does something for your feminine energies you know um some people wear moonstone and they get overwhelmed with their emotions you know what i mean they wear it a lot for too long and they don't even know that it's moonstone you know and it has them like tripping you know have them crying all the time and just doing all of that you know um so do be careful with moonstone you know if you're if you haven't reached a certain level of healing you know if you're still in denial about things and you're not ready to deal with them okay don't be walking around wearing moonstone okay because it's going to make all of those emotions and feelings and things that you have going on boil up and boil over and it's going to force you to deal with them okay um but the cat's eye moonstone says that it promotes clarity of the mind and inner vision and it helps one to remain focused while in a meditation meditative or altered state of awareness okay you could be doing a lot of meditation lately okay or you need to spirit um is dropping mad knowledge on everyone right now okay so make sure you do your meditations okay and that you're staying prayed up okay i'm always praying always always a little bit throughout the day you know what i mean um and then when i have my spiritual baths i you know <laughs> really sit in there and like really talk to spirit you know that is like one of the highlights of my life is taking a spiritual bath I am doing so much rambling because I haven't talked to y'all in a minute okay look the affirmation for the moonstone says I call forth the energies of the deep feminine and I open myself to the inner gifts of the goddess okay so there is a lot of um gifts coming up out of you right now okay a lot of um gifts that you know are coming from God coming from your ancestors and that's really awesome okay so I don't know I want to say this is going to be like a little reading but I don't think so I mean it's going to be little as far as the cards go but it seems it feels like it's going to be like spirit has a lot to say is I guess what I'm trying to say it feels like spirit has a lot to say <laughs> so let's see what they have to say okay spirit one three okay <laughs> they spit those right out too okay so this one came out kind of sideways this one came out upside down but spirit said it don't it doesn't matter which way they came out they all go upright <laughs> okay so the first one says Stop saying yes to shit you hate, okay? It says, we say yes to dumbass shit because we want to be cool, to caretake others, and because we think we need a reason to say no, the people we say no to may never understand why we needed to say no in order to be true to ourselves. You don't even have to know why you said yes in the past. Don't get stuck in a process spiral about it. If you're not into it, just stop saying yes and move the fuck on, okay? So I'm hearing people pleasing, okay? You could be doing a lot of people pleasing right now, okay? Don't be people pleasing, <laughs> okay? You don't owe anyone shit. You don't have to do anything for anyone, okay? Um, it's not going to kill them if you say no, you know? And the people that are really truly there for you, they're going to understand the reasons why you said no and why you, you know, move the way that you moved, okay? And they're always, they're going to find another solution okay because <laughs> you know if you want to say no you're not supposed to be doing it anyway you know <laughs> um stop saying yes to shit you hate spirit stop saying yes to shit you hate okay yeah <laughs> look at this bro look 
<laughs> this is the high priestess, okay? And this is the empress, okay? So that's you, <laughs> okay? You need to stop saying yes to shit that you hate, okay? No one's gonna hate you or get on your head. <clears throat> Spirits asking you to put yourself first, you know what I mean? It is the divine feminine within you that um, nurtures you and take care of you, you know what I mean? And that's also the part of you that nurtures others, you know what I mean? But, um... Your divine feminine within is always going to advise you to choose yourself, okay? If you don't want to do it, if you're like, oh, you know, that means you don't want to fucking do it, okay? Just don't do it. Don't be like, oh, I'll do it because, you know, they don't have anyone else. That's not your problem, okay? It's not always your problem, spirit's saying, okay? Um, some of you guys may need, like, a vacation, you know? you. <laughs> this is the Eight of Wands, okay? Um, but it's just got a suitcase on it, okay, with the with the wands and the, the airplane in the sky, okay? Some of you guys um, need to take a vacation, okay? You need to... It's like you've been avoiding taking that time off or taking time to yourself because you've been so busy, um, you know, getting things together and trying to make sure that everyone's straight, you know, before you take that that pause or that moment to take care of yourself. But spirit's saying everything's not gonna fall apart, you know, if you go ahead and take a break. Like everything's still gonna be standing just fine, okay? Just fine. Just fine. But just find is what I said. So I feel like you just need to find even if you just find like little moments in your day, you know, where you get to have it to yourself, you get to take that time and do what it is that you need to do for you, okay? That would even help you a whole lot, okay? Um, this one on this deck, it says, things get harder before you level up, know that, okay? This is the spiritual as fuck deck, the little cards and the bigger cards um, are just like a Hollywood tarot deck, it's like old school Hollywood. I don't know what it's called, okay, but I just like it. So it says, ancient proverb, if you meet more than two assholes a day, you're it, okay? It says, Anis Nin said, we don't see things as they are, we see them as we are. So one or two assholes could be random. Three assholes is a clear sign. You've got, a sphinc you've got your sphincter glasses. Take a moment to check in with your perception of things. It might just be that you, Cupcake, are the asshole. Luckily for you and everyone else, you've got the power to change that. Um, but Spirit's saying, you're not the asshole, honey. <laughs> You know, um, you're not the asshole. I'm really hearing, am I the asshole? Because you know how they have those um, those little like paragraphs online, you know what I mean? Where they're like, they started like, am I the asshole? And then they tell you the situation and then they want people to comment. Um, I feel like this is that kind of thing, you know, where you could be looking at different situations, you know, where you just acted the way that you were supposed to act, you know what I mean? And then now it's like all of these people are making you feel like you're an asshole or, you know, you're spotting all of the assholes throughout the day, you know what I mean? And it's got you questioning yourself like wait am I being an asshole no you're not being a fucking asshole okay <laughs> you're great you're wonderful you're amazing you're light you know what I mean and when you're firm and when you're rude is when you need to be firm and rude okay you are not tripping you are surrounded by assholes <laughs> tell me about the asshole spirit um we got the five of cups exactly <laughs> You're surrounded by assholes who are in the energy of loss, okay? They're feeling like, you know, I don't understand, I don't know. Like, they want you to be a loser, but you're not a loser, you know? You are a winner, and you've got a lot of ships, okay? This is the Three of Wands, okay? Your ships are really um, coming in for you right now, you know what I mean? And people are upset about it they're like why aren't you doing worse you know what I mean like um you know we've done all these things to you and we want to know why you're not doing worse okay you are um destined to win okay the high priestess and the empress came out first <laughs> okay um 
So that's what Spirit's saying, you know, it's like if you sense that these people are assholes, you know, and they're not genuinely happy for the growth that you're making or genuinely trying to encourage you or push you forward in the things that God is calling you to do, then you really don't need them. They are truly assholes. Sometimes, yes, God will put a few assholes in your life. Wait, OK, OK, Spirit, God will even put a few assholes in your life, OK, just to test your own temperance. OK, or just to um, mirror that person and be the asshole that they need to see somebody be because of their asshole ways. OK, but you're not the asshole, baby. You're going around here and you're teaching people um, big lessons that they need to learn. You know, with the two of wands, you always make the right choices. You know what I'm saying? So don't be walking around feeling like, you know, am I the asshole? Like you're doing something wrong because you're not doing something wrong. OK, Spirit's telling me to get the fairy cards for these two piles before I do the tarot for the last card that I pulled. Okay, so let me get one for stop saying yes to shit you hate. Okay, let me get one for the ancient proverb. Okay. So at the bottom it says protection, okay? Because you guys are extremely protected. You know, I don't want you to feel like, you know, you're not being protected from every single thing every second of the day. You know, your angels, your fairies, your ancestors, any, you know, cosmic beings, they, they are in a circle around you like this. You know what I mean? All day long, you know? It's like, if you could see them, they would be in your way. You know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me, spirit guide, I can't see, you know, that sign, or I can't see if the light is green or red, you know, because that's how much spiritual protection you have around you, okay? So, um, with stop saying shit to yes you hate, um, and this Empress, High Priestess, Eight of Wands energy over here, we got magical blessings, okay? Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings, okay? The fairies say yes, you can bless others too, okay? So, you know, don't, it's like, yes, you can help people, yes, you can bless people, but just don't sign up for some shit that you know is going to be some drama or that you know you're going to hate and you're going to be like, oh, why did I say yes to this shit? Because now I'm going to, you know, I thought this was going to be a 10 minute trip and it's turning into an hour trip. But the truth of the matter is, spirit saying, you knew that that shit was going to be what it was before you went in, but you didn't trust them to advise you to go into that situation or not. When spirit was like, no, you're not gonna like that. You were like, oh, but I guess I can go help anyway. And, and spirit saying, that's why you're running into the bullshit when you're helping the wrong people, okay? <laughs> because you're not following their advice when they say, no, no, don't do that. No, you're gonna dread that. And that's why, and that's that feeling that where you're like, oh, I don't really feel like doing this. Like, oh, I don't know why I feel like some bullshit gonna happen. I don't know why I feel like something bad is about to happen because that's the signs that spirit's sending you, okay? Um, we got nature sign, okay? Um, it says, be receptive to subtle messages from nature as you go about your day, okay? Nature talks to us continuously. We need only open our hearts and minds, okay? Pay attention to, you know, the animals, the flowers, the, the, the numbers, the signs that you're getting when you're outside, you know what I mean? When you're or not at home in your comfortable area you know spirit sending you a lot of signs especially when you're dealing with assholes you know what I mean or trying to figure out if you should do something you really feel like you don't want to do but you're gonna do it just because you know oh well I could be helping spirit or this could be something nice that I need to do you know um, but spirit saying no it's okay <laughs> to just say no okay it's not always something that you need to do or something that is required of you sometimes doing nothing is the thing that is required of you okay so this is the last little pile over here okay it says thou shall not judge because thou has fucked up before too okay so spirit's saying even though people are assholes you know don't be all judgy judgy you know and be like oh that that asshole you know that's the part of you that wants to give them a chance and wants to help them and wants to step in and you know um be that savior for people but you know spirit saying it's okay to say no 
it said it before, you know, it's okay to not do something and to not have a reason why you're not going to do that. You know what I mean? You don't have to be like, no, I don't want to do that, you know, because they an asshole and they always be laden. You know, that's like judging them on top of it's okay to acknowledge that, you know, that's who they are. You know what I mean? But if it, you feel like that's who they are, then don't deal with them. You know what I mean? Don't deal with them and then judge them on how they are. Okay. If that makes any sense. Okay. It says, thank you, spirit. It says, when you see yourself thinking someone's a real asshole, take a moment and contemplate all the times you've done exactly what they're doing. Maybe it was a different flavor of asshole -nish assholeness assholeness okay <laughs> maybe it was a different flavor of assholeness but it was still assholey okay check yourself people will like you more most importantly you'll like you more too oh <laughs> okay so let me see thou shall not judge okay so we got the four of swords and the six of pentacles but they they were in reverse, okay? Um, I don't know. I feel like I really heard, actually, um, they could be blocking their blessings, you know, um, because the Four of Swords is about resting and the Six of Pentacles is like a gift, you know, from spirit, from God. Um, to, and it's just like they're in reverse because you're not resting as much as you need to, which is why they're saying it's okay to, to not say yes, you know? And it's like, because you keep saying yes and because you keep, okay, okay, I, I under, I'm sorry, Spirit's talking to me at the same time, okay? But I'm understanding this a little bit more as I go along, you know? It's like, if you meet more than two assholes a day, then you're it because you're signing up to deal with the assholes, which is making an asshole out of you is what spirit's saying, you know? Um, so don't make an asshole out of you. You know what I mean? Don't give to the point where you're blocking your own blessings because you're giving to someone who God wants in right where they are. You know what I mean? Sometimes God takes things from people and they make sure they don't have anything. You know what I mean? And he, he really does do that. You know what I mean? Just to show them like, hey, this is your life without me. You know what I mean? This is your life without God. This is your life without guidance. Everybody goes through that time where they feel like God's not there, you know? And sometimes you could be helping people who are supposed to be in that void and kind of figuring things out for themselves, you know? If you're helping them all the time and you're figuring that it out for them then when do they learn their own lessons okay and you know blocking the lessons of another is blocking your own blessings okay thank you spirit look the ten of wands you know you don't want to you don't want to take on the burdens of someone else you know what i mean um and relearn some shit that you already got taught just because you are you know helping someone who you're not supposed to be helping and taking on their karma okay um we got the eight of swords it's like Sometimes people seem like they're in danger, but they're not. Sometimes people signed up for that shit, you know, and it's not always up to you to go out and help. You know what I mean? And it's like you're being protected from all of this shit. The spirit's just saying stop running into other people's situations. You know what I mean? With your fucking cape on trying to save them all the time, because right now is a time for you to get your rest and for you to receive your blessings. And you're not going to be able to do that if you have to keep going out and babysitting and saving another. OK, the people that are you're truly supposed to help okay nine times out of ten they get sent to you like people literally come right to my fucking door okay and be like hey i need your help <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't have to even like it could be people i'm not even talking to you know what i mean or they'll call me out of nowhere <laughs> if they need me okay so just know that when people need you they will come and find you okay spirit will put you guys together but you have to follow your your own like your own guidance okay you have to follow your own intuition and follow your own path okay you can't live someone else's life for them okay so it doesn't matter how many times you save them if they're not trying to save themselves they're always going to end up in a position where they need to be fucking saved okay excuse me i feel like that was confirmation so 
Um, this one that came out says life energy, okay? The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed, okay? So, keep on shining, okay? Keep on working your light. You're doing your light work just right, okay? Um, this is not meant to be... Um, discouragement in any way, you know, you're actually doing well, but spirit's just saying, you know, if you stop giving away so much of yourself, you know what I mean? And start to get the rest and give yourself the love that you need. Okay. Um, some, not to say that you're not doing it. You could be doing it and you could just need to do it a little bit more. Okay. Thank you, spirit. But if you go ahead and do that, it'll put you in a better position where you can actually help others, okay? I mean, like, permanently help them, you know, like, to actually do something bigger than they even expected. You know, you can't be the blessing until you allow the magical blessings to rain upon you, okay? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. So... Um, on the bottom of the deck, we got motivation, okay? It says, when spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it, okay? So stop doing things for everyone else, okay? Stop, um, you know, dragging yourself raggedy and, um, you know losing all of this life energy that you could be using to birth and create new ideas. Stop using that energy on others and spring into action the way that spirit is calling you to do, okay? You want me to take one of each? They say just one. <laughs> I kept trying to I kept trying to get more decks. Spirit was like we're just using we're just gonna use four, okay? We're just using four. Because I usually use like, <laughs> I use a gang of decks, okay? And Spirit is just like, no, we're not. We're not doing that today. Okay, so let me get the final card, Spirit. Okay. It's the Knight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? The Knight of Cups usually talks about like somebody somebody coming with a romantic offer. But I don't know. This Knight of Cups card is giving me like teamwork, you know, because there's a band. But also it's giving me like you're the lead singer of this band. OK, <laughs> like whatever band, you know, that you put together or whatever thing you organize, you know, you're the leader of that. You know, you can even get included in other people's things and somehow you become the leader of that thing. OK, it's just because, you know, you're very wise. People really do. Um appreciate your counsel like they don't have no problem letting you lead you know but I say that because of like you see how the band is there you know what I'm saying but they are like just assistants you know what I mean they're just they're just the backup you know and they don't seem like they're upset about being back there playing their parts okay but okay spirit spirit saying you know but if you are the lead singer you know then that's the part that you need to be playing you know what i mean just stand there you know what i mean and sing your shit you can't be trying to sing and trying to play the guitar for this person and trying to play the drums for that person okay you gotta play your part walk your path you know what i mean it's so much better when everybody does their own thing together. That's how you really make that good music, you know? It says every suits knight is on a mission and the Knight of Cups seeks peace. Um, it says the Knight of Cups seeks peace, appreciates beauty and fights for those who are oppressed. In this role, the Black Canary encourages you to lead with compassion, even if it brands you as an idealist. Find what inspires you and what makes you want to be a better person and then use your passion to make it into a reality, okay? And then Starfire is catching my attention, okay, with the Page of Cups. 
It says Starfire's curiosity and thirst for adventure make her the ideal page of cups who loves nothing more than exploring the surrounding world. You can embody this spirit by seeking fresh possibilities, meeting new people and opening yourself to once in a lifetime experiences. Okay, so now's the time for you to be just chilling, you know what I mean, and allowing things to float your way. Okay, now is not the time for you to be um, like micromanaging and thinking for yourself and thinking for everyone around you. Okay, just like I heard, take a chill pill, honey. Okay, just take a chill pill and allow spirit to help you. Okay, because when you allow spirit to help you, they send in people who know exactly what you need. You know, almost like you don't even have to ask these people to help you in a certain type of way because they already know just how to help you because God already sent them. Okay, and how can you know if God sent someone if you're busy trying to micromanage them and tell them how to give you the help that God specifically sent them to give you, okay? So, you know, food for thought. With that, I'm done, okay? I hope you got something that you needed out of this, okay? Like, like, like the video for me, and I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.